Hi, welcome to the Fungibility Problem Solving section. And uh, let's take a look at what type of the uh, fun probability problems we have today. So today we're going to take a look at how to find the probability. If I have an N box and I need to distribute it into the R boxes here. So this is the part one. I have a part two video, so have a different scenarios here. Okay, so the part one, we have three parts here. The first part here, we want to find uh, what is the total a different way I can distribute those balls here. So part one, we assume all those balls are distinguishable. That means the ball number one is different than ball number two, number three is here. Then the same problems like the number two is here. And uh, we want to see this N balls, uh, how many different ways can be distributed and uh, to the R boxes here, if uh, all the N balls are indistinguishable, so they're the same. And then the third one is here is we want to see if all the n ball must be distributed. And at the same time, all these n balls are indistinguishable. And then no box can be empty here. Right, so how do we do that? Okay, so this is a fun problem here. Okay, so now let's go to our whiteboards here. And uh, all right, so let's take a look. This is a very, very fun, the probability problems here. Okay, so the first thing is here, let's see here, I have uh, R boxes here, right? So this is the R box here. So I have uh, R boxes here. Now I have N balls here, so I would say the A1, well, let's see, maybe we'll say B1, ball number one, ball number two, ball number three, and da 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 to the ball number N here, right? So if they are all distinguishable, they are different, right? So how many ways I can distribute to this box here? So I can say, oh, okay, so for the ball number one, they have R chances, right? So I can throw the ball number one here. So the ball number one have a R different situation. I can put the ball number one. So then the same for ball number two here. So I can throw the ball into any the box here. So this, this is ball number two. So also have a R different situations you can throw. So now let's take a look at ball number three here. The same way I can throw. So maybe the ball number three will be in here, right? So each ball, I will have how many different situations? I have R position for names, right? So the total for the Question number one here is how many ways I can distribute it. So what is the total way? So total number of the way. So how many is here is R to the how many balls here? R to the Ns, right? So that is the first ones here. If the balls are distinguished, so that is easy. Okay, so this is the first part. Okay, now the second part, they said I still have R boxes here, but then my balls here are indistinguishable. So they are all the same here. So instead of use ball number one, ball number two, let's, uh, I will say, okay, all these are the balls here is A, 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 da, 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 da. Okay, so those are the N balls here, right? So they are directly the same. I'm going to put into the boxes here. Here, I want to introduce a kind of a concept here. So when you distribute it to the box, it's really it's similar, like because they are all the same, right? So it's similar, like you just partition that. So you will say, okay, I put a here, put a line here. So this will be my first box. This is my second box here. Then let me put a little bit more A here, right? So here, so like this is my A, 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 so all the different, right? So then you can say, okay, so this is my third box and the fourth box here. So like here, there's no partitions layer. 
So here is another way I partic partition that uh, the, these strings here. So you can treat these boxes here, right? So let me see how do you, you know, do you partition, you know, you, you separate that this is like the box ones right here. This is a box twos here. This is a box three, box four, five, right? So it's kind of like you, you just simply do a partition here. Okay, so if you understand this concept, then you know, you know, if I have, a, so if I have the R boxes here, how many loads of partition I have? I have a what? I have a R minus ones here, right? Because you are trying to divide the things to R parts. So it's very simple. If you kind of say here, I have a, you know, I have a, some numbers here, right? So you want to divide us, let's say here, if you want to divide a number into a four parts, one, two, three. So you need how many? lines here, you need three lines, right? So if you want to divide the line into a seven parts here, let's say the seven parts, so it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So because this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so you divide the this line to a seven. So for the R boxes here, so how many loads line I need is R minus one here. So you treat this things, the whole things is like a, a whole string. So total how many elements here I have? Total how many elements are here I have? Okay, I have N box, those A's here. I have N plus. How many loads of bar here? I have R minus one, right? So the total elements I have R, N plus R minus one. So the R minus one is how many loads of separation, right? The partition bars I have see here, right? So use the concept. If you want to divide it to a four parts, one, two, three, four, then you need a three lines to divide it. So just same thing here. If I want to separate it into a, R boxes here, I use R minus ones here. All right, so now the problem they ask here, they say total how many different ways here, right? So how many different ways here? We have N plus R minus one, right? Then you want to put this N box here. So you are after at this elements, you want to take N here. That is a total how many ways you can have. Do you get that? Right? So that's why let's means the total. This is a total how many ways you can dis, you know separate or distribute the ball, you know, into the R boxes here. Okay. So the number three here, let's see here. Number three, they said uh number three, we get one more condition. So they said uh, how about no box, no box uh, can be empty. Okay, think about if no box can be empty, what's that mean? That means uh, for each box here, I need to at least put what? At least have the one ball, my A ball here, Right, so at least I'm going to have a one box of one box here. So that's why I can make sure no box will be empty. So after you do that, how many balls left? How many balls left here? You have N minus R balls left, right? Then for this n minus r box, then you can distribute it to the r box again. So you will have a a a da 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 a a something like that, right? So now you are distributed. So total here, be careful see here, right? So total here, you only have n minus r box here. Okay, then you distribute it into the R box. So it's still the one. So you can do like this, do the partic 
partition. So how many loads uh, bars we have here? Still, how many are minus one, right? Because the remaining I can distribute to the R boxes here. So I want to kind of partition into an R part. So I need to use R minus one, those, uh, you know, those bars here, right? So that's what the those bars here, I have R minus one. Okay, so now let's take a look. So what is my total elements right now we have? We have uh, how many? I have n minus r plus r minus one. Correct. I have n minus r plus n r minus one so here. So if you simplify, this is n minus one. So what is the, you know, so what is the total weight, total number, total weights here? So how many total weights here? Of you know the overall is n minus one here, right? So, but now how many in this ball left is n minus r balls here. So that will be my answer so for the part B, for the number three here, if no box can be empty. So the part two here, this way here tell you some box can be empty. Right, so this is no box can be empty. So it's very interesting. So we use the same idea about the partitions here, but because no box can be empty, that means you need to put the, you know, you need to subtract the R out because I have R boxes here. So each box, I have to at least one ball layer right, to fulfill the requirement, no box can be empty here. All right, so that's it, this is very fun. So our second part we're going to talk about is how about, uh, you know, the, I can have the, you know, I can have one or more than one box to be empty, then how do I distribute it, all right? Okay, so that is the fun part to do this uh, distributions here, all right? So looking forward to talk to you for our next uh, experiment, all right? So these next scenarios here, bye-bye.